tails are going. I got a Ford Taurus here, and what I'm going to do is go through the steps of what I did to try to eliminate my problem of no heat coming out of the heater core. Done things that help, but I have read and stumbled on some more issues with this car, and I want to share them with you and the corrections I've done so far and what I'm going to do. It started out the heater core, of course, I they had no heat blowing out of it. And I took apart hoses. This hose here, what you're looking at there, going back is the hose going to the outlet for the heater core. And then over on this side, right where the camera is with that uh, clamp on it, that's the inlet. So you take the inlet off, the outlet off, and I flushed that, back flushed that out, which it actually helped quite a bit, but it still didn't have a lot of heat going through. So I suspected this crossover, or this bypass line that Ford has installed for some reason was the culprit. So then I put this uh, vice grip on there to pinch that off, and that helped push the fluid through and gave me, you know, fairly decent heat. But that only lasted so long, so I figured the heater core is plugging up again, which actually it wasn't. But this inside of this motor, these Vulcan engines, they uh, tend to rust out pretty bad. So the next step was I did a complete flush, and you have to start by... There's a, a plastic guard that goes over this entire end, and there's probably five or six bolts with 8 millimeter and 5.5 millimeter heads on them. You just take them off and that plastic housing will slide right off. And then you have your drain plug right here on the driver's side, as you can see. Well, I opened that up and nothing but sludge and brown junk would come out. So I basically uh, started draining that out and kept adding water while the car was running and completely flushed everything out real good. Pretty sure I had everything nice and clean. Filled it back up with antifreeze and all was good, but the problem I had is this uh, motor would start cooling off too much like the thermostat was sticking and plus it would overheat a little bit. Well, then I ended up uh, replacing the thermostat, which if you can see in there is right there. Three bolts, pull that out put a new thermostat in, everything seemed to be working good, but the problem was I had the exact same problem. The motor, unless you were revving it way up, would overheat. And once it started, you know, cooling, it'd cool right down like nothing. So what I'm figuring is I have me a problem with my water pump. I've read that the uh, impellers on them get wore out from all the corrosion and that through these motors. So. I have a new water pump and we're going to install that and I'll let you know if uh, that works. Alright, go ahead and watch my other video I'm putting on how to remove a water pump if you're having trouble doing it, but what you're looking at here is the pump I just removed and as you can see that would be the main reason why I could not get any heat going through the heater core and I'd have to rub the car up for it to cool properly. I can't even believe it cooled. That's a new pump right there. That is just wicked. All the troubles that I went through I would say 90% of the pop problem was this pump. Um, the impellers were completely wore out. If that went to bend chances are it would have the heater core would not have plugged all the way up like it did. It would have been kept pumping through. But just say it did plug up, I mean it would have been a simple thing of unhooking the hoses and flushing it out and you should be good. But if you got problems with minimal heat and you've already done the heater core thing and whatnot, might as well plan on going to the pump right away. And as I said, look at my video, the other one that I'll be putting on about how to pull the water pump out if you can't do it. But it's... Uh, these motors are prone to corrosion and it basically 
corroding to antifreeze and stuff, so it's, you pretty much you should be uh, flushing these motors out a lot. You know, every maybe every year would be a good good idea. Go ahead and put that pump on, and we'll see what happens. All right, I got that water pump in, and the temp gauge is just climbing. I already have tremendously hot air, even at idle. I did, and if you're experiencing these problems like this with a Ford Taurus or a Mercury Sable, like 95 to 99, yeah, your heater core is probably plugged, but I'd say the biggest problem you're going to have is that water pump is either on its way out, the impellers are getting bad, or they're as bad as like mine to where you'd have to run it up to 3,000 RPM just to keep the motor from overheating. Like mine gradually started getting like that, and my guess that's what blocked, uh, ended up making the heater core not function the way it did and deposits in there to begin with. but. Uh, very cheap fix. Go ahead and look at my other video how to replace the, the water pump. And, I mean, I, I picked that up. I remanufactured for $29. So I probably got $35 would have fixed the problem. So there you go. I hope this helps.